concept that our solders were spending a lot of time doing inspection. And we really hadn't found anybody that had a remedy to that. So we had approached Ko Young and said, oh, you guys have an interest in this. They said, not only do we have an interest in it, we have begun to deliver algorithms uh, and develop them for that process. And we weren't real sure about it. Once again, Ko Young said, hey, we'll put a machine in your facility and we will work with you. They gave us direct names of contacts and they said, as you move forward, you guys do what you want with the equipment, you tell us what you need and we'll be there for you. And uh, today I stand here saying we're doing 100% bottom side inspection and we're at about 80% of our top side inspection. And we would not be there had it not been for the machine or for the support for the machine. This wasn't something that they had originally thought of to use it for. Um, typically, this has been for looking at, in our case, solder paste on a PCB. In this case, we're actually looking at components. So we're looking to make sure that the solder is a complete fillet there, um, or that no surface mount parts have been thrown off during the selective soldering process. So I've been working actually pretty closely with Ko Young. Anytime I have a concern, I contact them. They'll jump on the equipment themselves actually online and they'll help me sort out any problems that I'm having. And it's also added in a second bonus to us is for parts that are on the bottom side. So not just do I run a selective wave per se, I have a potential of knocking off components that are in those general areas. So not just am I looking at the through hole joint itself, I'm looking at surrounding SMT components to see if there was any impact to those at all. I'm also picking up any solder balling. I'm able to measure the solder balling. I'm able to determine whether it's a defect or not a defect. Um, so it's grown beyond just looking at joints as well. It can be pretty challenging. Um, a lot of the time with a solder fillet on the through hole components on the bottom side, you can have a lot of mirrored surfaces. So the pen will actually look like it's inverted, but I've been working really closely with Ko Young to fix that. There's some lighting levels that you can change. There's some different ways that it's actually looking at the part that you can change to get yourself the best image to see that solder fillet come through. It's also been really hard with looking at the top side to make sure that nothing has been jostled around or anything. Any black parts for like the tops of connectors, those have been kind of hard to see. But again, I'm working with Ko Young and they've been really helpful sorting that all out, trying to get the best angle, see it the best. Right now, we currently just have the one machine uh, to do the through hole. We'll probably be, you know, two to three quickly down the road.